It would be difficult to check out everything leaving Netflix in August, so we have a list of the best of the best films you have to watch before they disappear. Between now and the end of August, sign into your Netflix account and load up these movies you won't want to miss. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Terry Gilliam's psychedelic satirical black comedy based on Hunter S. Thompson's book of the same name, is a flick you either love with every fiber of your being, don't really understand, or haven't seen at all. Or maybe you just don't like it, because that's fair too. The film divided critics upon its release in May 1998 largely for its pendulous nature and bizarreness that can make your head spin. But in the two decades since, Fear and Loathing has picked up a swarm of fans who will go to bat for it. Set in 1971, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas centers on journalist Raul Duke and his lawyer Dr. Gonzo as they take a road trip from the sunny skies of Los Angeles to the sin-filled deserts of Las Vegas. What begins as an effort to document a race devolves into an exploration of an otherworldly dystopia that gets more and more haunting the further Duke and Gonzo venture in. There was evidence in this room of excessive consumption of almost every type of drug known to civilized man since 1544 AD. Some think Fear and Loathing is Gilliam's worst film by a mile, while others have called it, quote, a stylish and faithful adaptation of a lasting classic of American literature. Hurry and find out which side of the argument you fall on or revisit an old favorite before Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas departs from Netflix on August 1st. Want to indulge in some silly scares as summer winds down? Before August 1st, load up Netflix and watch the first four installments in the over-the-top horror franchise Final Destination. Each entry in the saga centers on a group of young adults who fight for their lives after a friend of theirs is suddenly struck with a vision and warns they will all die in a freak accident. All seems okay when the group isn't involved in the accident their friend foretold, but the hand of fate soon swoops down and plucks them off one by one, killing them via elaborate Rube Goldberg-style coincidences. There's no avoiding death or their final destination, the grave. Though none of the Final Destination movies have been critical hits, they've performed fairly well at the box office and have amassed something of a cult following. They're campy and inane, and the perfect movies to mindlessly watch after a long summer day spent lounging in the sun. Writer-director Edgar Wright and writer-actor Simon Pegg started the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy with 2004's zombie romp, Shaun of the Dead, then built it out with 2007's Hot Fuzz. The comedy stars Pegg as London police constable Nicholas Angel and his Shaun of the Dead co-star Nick Frost as Angel's over-eager partner Danny Butterman. There was a bit earlier on that you missed when uh, I distracted him with the cuddly monkey, and then I, I said, playtime's over, and I hit him with the peace lily. <laughs> You're off the f chain! After Angel realizes that his flawless track record of catching baddies has made his London superiors angry, he's transferred to the quiet town of Sanford and partnered up with the action movie aficionado Butterman. Angel reluctantly settles into the calmness of the countryside town and gets used to having the oafish Butterman at his side, but things take a dark turn when a string of accidents unleashes horror and chaos onto Sanford. The two cops buddy up to discover the culprit and the true meaning behind the crimes. Hot Fuzz, regarded as everything an action comedy should be, leaves Netflix on August 1st, in case you didn't already know. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> Directed and co-written by Luc Besson, The Fifth Element takes place in the 23rd century when Earth is on the brink of collapse hundreds of years after a race of aliens collected four elemental stones from Egypt in 1914. It's up to Corbin Dallas, an ex-Special Forces major and current flying taxicab driver, and Lilu, an orange-haired humanoid who crashes into said taxicab, to combine the four elemental stones with the fifth element to prevent a massive ball of flaming death from hurtling into the planet. Dallas and Lilu meet a host of colorful characters along the way, which makes their already unforgettable experience that much more memorable. Be sure to catch the fifth element before it leaves Netflix on August 1st. Got your Twinkies? Got your shotgun? Well, get ready to roll, because the zombie apocalypse is about to be over and you don't want to miss your shot at killing some undead creatures. Ruben Fleischer's runaway hit horror comedy Zombieland follows a group of four humans roaming the zombie apocalypse. Making his way from his dorm room in Texas to Ohio to see if his parents are still alive, geeky college kid Columbus meets three strangers who become his makeshift family, sisters Wichita and Little Rock, who have some unique ways of dealing with chaos, and zombie killing expert Tallahassee. There's humor and gore, violence and a kick in soundtrack, an appearance from Bill Murray as a fictionalized version of himself, and even some romance. You know, something for everyone. Zombieland is set to jump off Netflix on the very first day of August, so hop to it. Then look forward to catching the sequel Zombieland Double Tap in theaters on October 18th. 
Javier Bardem has taken his fair share of turns as baddies in films like Skyfall and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, but no villainous character Bardem has embodied comes close to the psychopathic assassin Anton Chigurh in No Country for Old Men. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? Set up as a cat and mouse game, No Country for Old Men begins with a discovery. Llewellyn Moss steps into the aftermath of a drug deal gone wrong and finds $2 million in cash sitting in the back of a truck. It's an unexpected payday for Moss, but it changes his life forever when Chigurh sets out to recover the money. An adaptation of Cormac McCarthy's novel of the same name, No Country for Old Men is thrilling and bleakly funny as it explores themes of religion and fate against the arid backdrop of the Lone Star State. Your last chance to catch it on Netflix is August 11th. Directed by Garth Jennings in his feature debut, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy brings the weird and wonderful novels of the late Douglas Adams to life in a way that no previous adaptations could really manage. Excuse me. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy centers on Arthur Dent, an English everyman who's having a particularly troubling day. He learns that his house is scheduled for a bulldozing, that his friend, Ford Prefect, is actually an alien journalist, and that Earth will be demolished to clear space in the solar system for a hyperspace bypass. Arthur's only shot at surviving is to hitch a ride on a passing spacecraft, and thus he embarks on a journey he never could have imagined. Our unlikely hero discovers that everything he thought he knew about life has been wrong, and everything he needs to know rests in a book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Also starring Zoe Deschanel as a humanoid named Trillian, Hitchhiker's Guide has been hailed as a delightful sci-fi treat, and it leaves Netflix on August 20th. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.